those two officers were shot. A huge manhunt then ensued. Dozens of officers, not just from the Oakland Police Department, from the Sheriff's Department, the BART Police Department, and other jurisdictions came in to the city of Oakland looking for that gunman. The search went on for close to two hours, and then Oakland Police got word of where that gunman was held up, not too far from where that initial traffic stop was at 74th and MacArthur. At that point, the Oakland SWAT team was called to the scene, and somehow, two other police officers were shot as well as the gunman. Now, during this press conference day at 4.30, a spokesman for the police department said that the Oakland police officers, we don't know which ones, whether the ones who were shot, had killed the gunman, who they believe at this point is responsible for shooting the four Oakland police officers. Those officers were rushed to Highland Hospital. All four, at last check, from the Oakland Police Department were in very critical condition. The interim chief here at the city of Oakland, Howard Jordan, had a brief few words, basically reiterate, reiterating what I had just told you. A spokesman also came out and kind of reiterated just what I told you. We did speak to one woman on scene who didn't see the traffic stop, but was at 74th and MacArthur when the Oakland Police Department thought they had their man cornered. Here is a bit of what she had to say from her point of view. When I first got in this area, um, there was a couple people on the corner, only about five, um, and they had this all blocked off with yellow tape, and um, they started um, making a perimeter around this um, two blocks right here. BART police, SWAT team, Oakland police, um, sheriffs. Within minutes, we came up um, Bancroft from 98th Avenue to 73rd, and they had every block blocked off, and they were questioning people as they were coming out of this middle section of MacArthur and Bancroft. Guns drawn, dogs out here. I did know what was going on because I got a phone call when we were on the corner of 98th at the gas station. They were having a sideshow some out here, and. I don't know, it was a routine traffic stop or something. And at this point, a lot of unanswered questions. Uh, just five hours after this incident started, uh, the police department said they will have another press conference either around 8 o'clock tonight or 9 o'clock tonight uh, downtown. But again, uh, the mood here outside this Eastmont station uh, is very somber. Uh, a lot of officers hugging each other, officers crying uh, as tragedy has struck this department. Uh, but at last check, again, uh, four Oakland police officers are critically injured this afternoon. Live here in Oakland, Mike Meebach, KTVU, Channel 2 News. All right, Micah, uh, I know that it's early and um, the police did come out and speak to you briefly, but do we know anything yet about this, uh, what you called routine traffic stop that, as we know now, was, was not routine? No. Uh, you know, again, around 115, they pulled him over. Uh, we don't know, you know, if he ran a stop sign, if he was speeding. Uh, why? Uh, we, we definitely asked that question, and, and we do not know what uh, prompted that traffic stop. And we also, the name of that uh, individual who uh, police shot and killed uh, has not been released, so we don't know any information uh, about that person at this point. But we're hoping uh, that in a few hours here at that next press conference uh, at the downtown headquarters up on the ninth floor, uh, we'll reveal a little bit more uh, about that traffic stop and uh, about the officer's uh, conditions as well uh, as the gunman. All right, thank you, Mike. Mike Meebach reporting live for us now at the Eastmont uh, substation, where uh, not too far from where all of this took place uh, just a couple of hours ago. Now, all of this began this afternoon with, as Mike said, a traffic stop on 73rd Avenue in MacArthur Boulevard. It is in East Oakland. KTVU's Ken Pritchett, he has more now. He's live at the scene of one of the shootings with the very latest on what happened there and what's continuing to happen there. Ken? Well, right now we can show you the scene, give you a better look of some, at some of what Mike was describing. Now, we are at 73rd in MacArthur. Now, the first, there are, remember, there were, there were uh, four wounded officers, two separate shooting incidents. 
You're looking now at, at, the, at the scene of the first shooting incident. Uh, this is at 74th and MacArthur, about a block from here. Uh, there are evidence markers on the ground. Investigators are in that area. Uh, that is a location where uh, the uh, Oakland police uh, motorcycle officers uh, pulled over that car. That is the scene of, of where those first uh, two officers uh, were shot. Now, the second shooting scene, uh, uh, that actual, actually, that second shooting unfolded while we were here on scene uh, uh, just after 3 o'clock this afternoon. Afternoon. Uh, you can, uh, why don't we take now a look at some video from the scene uh, earlier this afternoon as this unfolded. As officers surrounded the first scene at 74th and MacArthur Boulevard, there was a search underway for the suspect believed to be in the neighborhood surrounded by Oakland police. The first shooting took place just after 1 p.m. and then just after 3 o'clock. At least two more shots rang out, and officers scrambled to surround a building where the suspect was barricaded, which was within a block of the original scene, also on 74th Avenue. Now, as officers surrounded that building with their guns drawn, an Oakland police armored car rolled away from the location of the second shooting. That armored car...